Hey everybody. Recently there's been a lot of questions regarding uh, cold start issues and warm start issues uh, to do with the Vitec. And so I'm going to show you some of the settings that have been pretty common with most of the users. Uh, not all, mind you, um, but a lot of the engines aren't liking how much fuel is being injected uh, when you first turn your key on and do your prime. So I'm going to go through those settings right now and just show you where they are and show you what most of the important ones do. So the first thing we're going to do is go into number six, which again is your pro tuning section. I'm going to go to number seven, which is cranking fuel. And I'm going to load a cal file. Um, this is in offline mode right now, so I'm just uh, showing you the settings. The number one setting you want to look at here is the number one, which is prime fuel. Uh, multiplier. This by default is set very high. Um, some engines like it, most do not. If you find your car starts easier by applying some throttle, uh, opening up the uh, blades and getting some air in there, chances are this is your issue. They have set it as a feature. It, basically when you turn your key on, it shoots a, a large squirt of fuel into the intake um, but with a lot of engines, it's actually too much fuel. So what we've been telling a lot of people in our forums is to lower the setting. Some are finding even going all the way to negative 100 is actually uh, disabling it and is actually working. As you can see, the min value being negative 100, that actually disables the prime shot completely. If you find you're having problems with cold and especially warm starts, this is the value you're probably going to look at first. What you're going to want to do here is I suggest just, it's going to take you a few days, but lower it down to say 200. Give it a try the next day. If it's still having to hold the pedal open to start easier, go down to 100. Go down to zero. Uh, go down to negative 50, etc. Try to find a happy medium. If you do find that your cold starts are now good, but your warm starts are still having an issue, uh, feeling like you still have to open the pedal up a bit, then what you're going to do is, is lower this down to a point where the warm starts work well, but your cold starts maybe need a little more fuel. And that's where we want to look at our crank fuels. As you lower the prime fuel, you may have to start increasing your crank fuels. As you can see here, these are my default settings for the 600 horsepower model. Um, Crank 20 doesn't take anything out, it actually just runs default. But it starts to remove fuel from the 65 and the 170. Now, if you start dropping the prime value, you may actually have to start increasing the crank fuel values. The benefit to this is simply this. Prime fuel shoots the same amount regardless of temperature. I find personally that's a flaw because obviously you don't need as much fuel warm as you do cold. By disabling or lowering this volt, this uh, value of prime fuel to where it starts properly at warm, you can then start to individually add fuel at these other temperatures such as 65 and 20. Remembering these are all interpolated between them, so if your car is cranking at 50 degrees, well that value actually lies between the 20 Fahrenheit and the 65 Fahrenheit. So you may have to adjust both a little bit. The after start fuel is literally just that. Um, as you can see, it only it shoots a little extra fuel after you've cranked. Once you actually are, have cranked and it fires, that's when the after start fuel takes effect. The warm up fuel is, I believe, approximately one minute or so many revolutions. I'd have to look it up again of warm up fuel additional but I do find this system is quite rich by default. So typically you don't have to play with the warm-up fuel. Rarely you have to play with your after start fuel. The big values are crank fuel and prime fuel. Prime fuel being by far the biggest one. If you find that you're having to keep your pedals open or pedal down and your blades open in order to start your car, start here with prime fuel, get it down lower. And like I said, a lot of people are even having success going all the way to negative 100, which is disabled completely. But if you do disable it, you are going to most likely have to increase the crank fuel at these 
uh, three settings here because you no longer have that huge shot of fuel going in when you first turn the key on. Uh, I hope that's helpful to you guys. Thank you.